Welcome to the Berry Girls Kitchen. I'm Linda. And I'm Kylie. Well, today we're here making an account with two delicious recipes. We're making roasted chickpea, tomato, and avocado pizza, and a sweet beet salad. Yes, and with the chickpeas and grape tomatoes on this flatbread, oh my goodness, they're roasted with chunks of garlic and seasoning. You're gonna love this. Ah, oh, and if you've never roasted chickpeas before, then you are in for a treat. They take on a delicious, vibrant, roasted texture, and the flavor is so satisfying. We enjoy them as a snack, but I personally eat them in place of potato chips. Yes, yeah, so and what a good replacement too. And and chickpeas are known as garbanzo beans. I'm pretty sure you heard of that, or hummus even. How about that? You know, they come from a plant, but they're considered both nutritious and packed full of protein because they are also called the super bean. <laughs> we consider it a superfood because it contains fiber, mm -hmm. which helps you feel fuller longer. And if you're feel full, you're not overeating. Mm -hmm. And did you know that one half cup of chickpeas six grams of protein. Six. And a half a cup? And a half a cup. Wow. Then there's the ripe, creamy avocado, which is the base of this flatbread pizza with a blend of healthy fats and protein and plant-based power. And the avocados, they support our growing bodies. Mm -hmm. The minerals and vitamins help infant growth, mm -hmm. development, and brain function. Let's get started. We're gonna preheat our oven to 400. Now on a sheet, we're gonna to toss together our tomatoes, our chickpeas, with our seasonings, our salt, our pepper, our olive oil. And we're gonna cook all of that for about a good 15 minutes or until the chickpeas are golden brown. On a separate sheet, we're going to toast the flatbreads until they're golden brown in about 10 to 12 minutes. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to spoon on the mashed avocados onto the top of the flatbreads, and then add a little bit of the tomato chickpea mixture and sprinkle a few arugula leaves and we're ready to serve. Wait, 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 no mother. We're not quite ready to serve. We need to make our sweet beet salad now. We try to use beets in our recipes because they provide some serious Beetle fits. Beetle fits? I love that. Beetle fits. Well, <laughs> they contain nitrates, which convert to nitric oxide in our body. This relaxes our blood vessels and improves blood flow. So that improves and helps lower your blood pressure. Plus, they contain fiber, which can lower your cholesterol and what? Aid in your digestion. In a skillet over medium heat, we'll add our avocado oil and onions and we'll cook those until they're translucent. We'll add them to a bowl and allow them to cool. Now, in a mixing bowl, we'll add our arugula, onions, beets, oranges, and balsamic vinegar and toss to mix. And finally, we'll top that with our pumpkin seeds. This pizza combined with your sweet beet salad, oh my goodness gracious. Let's get ready for a colorful blend of greatness, okay? Your body is gonna love it, and believe me, it is very girl approved, seriously. So there you have it, recipes to keep you fueled, focused, and ready to go for your future. Don't forget to leave a like and follow us, the Berry Girls, for more healthy, flavorful recipes. And when you try these at home, leave us a comment and let us know how you make it count. The Berry Girls are brought to you by Hen House.